Hello everyone, hope you're doing well today on this great Tuesday. I'm so glad I get this time to be back with you today, just to pray with you, encourage you, strengthen you in the Lord. You know, I love the Psalms. I think you ought to read them every day. But you know, David knew how to encourage himself when things were difficult. You know, that's really has been our whole purpose of, of doing this every day at noon. And the times that it keeps airing is to be an encouragement because times are difficult. If we're in Christmas time and whether we had COVID or any of the other stuff goes on, it would be difficult just simply because it's busy and it gets chaotic, even in one of the greatest seasons of all time. Yet we find ourselves in places of need of encouragement. And especially in days that we're in where fear is still rampant. People are still struggling physically. People are struggling financially. Now because of restrictions and such as that, we're finding ourselves. Do we come together as a family at Christmas? Do we not? We just come through all that with Thanksgiving. And it's very challenging. And I find that still people need to be encouraged in the Lord. And I want to encourage you. And I believe God wants you to live encouraged. You know, the psalmist said in Psalm 63, he said this, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see your power and to see your glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips will praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My uh, soul shall be satisfied with morrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, meditate upon thee in the night watches. Because you have been my help, therefore... In the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. And my soul follows hard after thee. Thy right hand upholds me because, but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speaks lies shall be stopped. Notice something the psalmist said. He kind of laid out a picture of how things were. He was in a desert place. Naturally, it was a desert region, a desert place where they end, where it is dry. But David understood something that God was everything, that God was life. God was water. He was the refreshing. Here's a couple of points I want to bring to you. The first thing that David said, oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek you. Listen, friends, I believe it's important how we get up of a morning and not only how we get up, but what we do when we get up. Notice what the psalmist said. He said, early, am I going to seek after you? I'm going to pursue you the first thing. Friend, what is the first thing that we're allowing into our lives? I'm not talking about being religious, but I believe we can get religious in the pursuit of God. But I believe it's important that I get up and I begin to recognize that he's God of today and he'll be God tomorrow and he'll be God next week. And he said, early, am I going to seek God, the source of life, the source of my peace, the source of my joy? Then he went on to say this. He said, I seek after you. He said, I'm looking for you early, but I'm seeking after you. I want to be instructed by you. I want to find everything that I can find in you because I know you have what I need to get me through this life. Another place he said something like this. I'm just skipping over some verses. He said, I'll remember you upon my bed. I believe it's important that we remember the great things that God has already done. How he has moved. How he has he provided. How he has blessed. How he has healed. But then he also said, I will meditate on thee in the night watches. In those times when it's dark, in the times when I don't know what to do, I'm going to meditate on the greatness of God. Friend, I want to tell you, He is God. 
He'll be God tomorrow. He's God in the middle of all the circumstances. And He's God when everything is good. Just seek after Him.